Hey everybody, it's Lance with LanceKelly.com. I just want to go over a few things with you, and mostly it's just my time, the time I put into this, and the effort is just a gift from God, and I don't mind putting in the time, but all I ask for is just a comment on my site or just push my like button so I can get a little bit of publicity out of all the time I put in for you guys and doing these videos and these trainings. It is no big issue. God bless you guys. Guys, and I will see you again. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Lance Kelly with LanceKelly.com. I'm here to talk to you about sand carving today and how to do it and what I use. Um, let's start out with, I use a plotter on most of my stuff. Uh, I use a actual graph tech, it's a 64 inch. And I use a material called Hartco 310S Mask. That's Hartco, and that is from Hartco. You can look it up online, and it's 310S, and it's a PVC-type based material. And it works really good under high pressures, and it won't flip off the glass or blow off. You know, just as long as you cut in an edge first from like a distance of about, I'd say, a good 10 inches going back and forth really fast, and you can eat yourself in a line and, you know, carve, you know, underneath underneath it without you know any substantial lifts and I can get some really great detail as you can see here um, on the legs and everything I, I, I really cut every little piece for the detail and a lot of the other details I use I use water masks and on my water masks that I use are from a company called Razist out of Vista that's Razist out of Vista and I get all my materials from Razist they're a great Christian company as I'm a Christian myself and uh, I love everything they've done for me and my work and um, go on and talk about other stuff I usually use an air pressure of about 85 pounds when I blast and um, I usually go pretty deep fairly quickly I do a paint I do one of these actual pieces in about 72 hours and it's a dual layer piece there's one piece in back one piece in the front and there's also another thing I put in there, and it's high output LEDs from another company that I use called um, Osnium. And that's O O Z N I U M Osnium.com. And they actually provide me with all my high output LEDs. This one was a green and a, a white, brilliant white that I used. And I separated the colors like that because I wanted that contrast, you know, that real nice looking contrast of color. And this piece was tough. I mean, this piece was one of my challenges, you know, that I've done. Uh, everything down to the tattoo, to the every nut and bolt, there's only one of these. This is a one-of-a-kind piece. Um, it's just amazing to just look at this detail. But anyway, to make a long story short, th this is the Ghost Rider piece I did. Those are the high output LEDs. Um, oh, on this horse, let me talk to you about this. What I did is on, on this is I used a, a urethane and I, I sprayed it with, with a clear coat first and then I came back and I powdered, I, I blew pearl all over the top of it then I cleared it again. And the reason I do that is because if you do that and you float your pearls on, you know, on, on a, a just a fresh spray of like like uh, uh, what a just a fresh spray of urethane, you know, it's sticky, and then you can take like a powderized pearl and blow it in the air, or you can actually mix it up in uh, in your medium in a whole nother. You take your airbrush and you you mix a little bit of clear with nothing in it, spray it on there, come back, mix up another bottle. Just you know what? Forget it. Just go ahead and throw some. Uh, some pearl in there and mix it up after you've already used that clear and then go from one angle and spray it at an angle and you'll get that real nice glittery look that I wanted when I did this because I wanted it to glisten when you walked by it in the day but I also wanted that clearness so I can get that nice ghost effect you know on the glass when you're looking at it and you can see through it you know you get that ghost effect like on the mountains and everything I really thought that was really neat but all the details you can see uh, I just I do most of this all freehand, and I it's all cut cut in 
with the plotter but I designed it all on the computer you can look on my other videos you can see how I do that also you know and how I lay it all up and I quote my job and all that and it's, it's really a lot of fun you can learn a lot I've been very successful doing glass I'm the official artist for the UFC and I do I've done all their inaugural awards thank God and if I don't know I don't know what I would have done without my friends from tap out and Danny I thank you guys all everybody enjoy the work I'll talk to you a little bit about the mountains the green mountains they were done with a rubber um, actual uh, latex a latex rubber that you can actually get it like a Benjamin craft or a Benjamin uh, any type of Benjamin craft store hobby store they sell this put it on blast it move it around let the plaster eat at it and it'll make this effect thanks God bless goodbye